My name is Paul Meek, and we are downtown at Darcy McGee's on Spark Street. It's 3 o'clock, it's Thursday, and I am thirsty. This week we're having a beer. Polly, what are you doing? Come With on in for the party. Let's Darth go. Darcy McGee's. Thanks, buddy. Let's go try. See you later. Welcome to Having a Beer With. This week we are down on Spark Street having a beer with my friend Jeff O'Reilly. Jeff O'Reilly, how the heck are you? Paul Meek, I'm fantastic. How the heck are you? <laughs> Good, thank you, sir. Slosh it. 100,000 welcomes to you, sir. So, delicious. Absolutely, 100%. All natural Ottawa delicious. Spark Street, things are going good. Darcy's is good. Things are going great. Uh, you know, it's, it's the Christmas season. We've got lots of parties, lots of great events at the NAC. Lots of stuff going on in Spark Street. Big New Year's Eve party coming up. Um, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. We've got a band called Cold Creek playing. Uh, country band. Silver Creek's also going to be playing. So Fantastic. Lots of, lots of creeks. Lots of creeks. We're up, in, <laughs> up the creek on Spark Street. Creeks. And fireworks and stuff. You know, they just lit the lights a couple nights ago. Very cool. Beautiful down here. So Spark Street's gone through quite a change over the last few years. More restaurants showing up. Lots more businesses showing up. Is that? Are you finding that creating more competition, or is there more traffic in the area now? I think it's pretty hard to do a pub crawl with just one pub. So True. I uh, I like having more people on the street. We've got some you know some some great friends on the street. You know the beer market, farm team, um, whiskey, uh, the South Block whiskey bar, good friend Kevin Jelly. So we're pretty happy. I mean the more the merrier. I'd love to see um, Spark Street become more of a destination. So if you look in the summer, this summer, thousand patio seats. Really? Yeah, so we have more patio seats than, than Elgin Street, or almost many, well, probably more than the Byward Market. All in just one stretch, you, you know? don't think of it that way, no. I don't think people do, so it's, uh, I've got to do my job and get people to think <laughs> that way, right? <laughs> yeah. So listen, you and I have many different relationships in terms of uh, you know, working together. Yep. Obviously our big one is juvenile diabetes. Correct. So tell us about how, you know, I think Tika's doing well, Alex is doing well. Yes, yeah, both fantastic. Exactly. Uh, where, are, where, do you think we're close, or how do you think things are going in terms of you know the kids hopefully having a change in their life, or are they, are they stuck with uh, the pumps for a while? Do you think? I really, I am hopeful that there is a, there is a cure, and we're on the verge of a cure. Uh, and I hope that big pharmacy is not holding back yeah. on uh, on the cure because um, I, I think you know a technology has gone so far. I'm still surprised that things like um, juvenile diabetes, cancer, the common cold are still are still so prevalent, you know. But um, boner pills <laughs> and, and fake hair and stuff like that, no problem. Check, yeah. check, you know. Really, really crazy. So that is awesome. Yeah. That's too funny. Oh man. Listen, I just want to come back and, and sit down and have a quick having a beer with you. Jeff was one of our first people on when we did this four years ago. We yep. running off of an iPhone, now we've got the awesome Chris Snow doing our videos for us. Fantastic. So Jeff, thank you for always supporting Kitchen Sipping. We're drinking the 1855. I've got ourselves a Wu Jack Black. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you all for Yeah, so Merry Christmas to you and to uh, and to all the Kitchen Sipping drinkers out there. Thank all that. Sláinte. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody, and thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Um, so Jeff, I thought we were done, but we're not done. We forgot to do our little rapid fire three questions. Fire away. So, fire away. How many beers on tap at Darcy McGee's? We have 20 delicious draft beers on tap. So no crappy ones, all 20 delicious ones? All of them are delicious. All of them are delicious. Including two kitchen sippies. That's excellent, so 10% of the tap. Very That's good. right. That's my math skills. I like that. This is very rapid fire, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Rapidly <laughs> losing interest. <laughs> the, the, uh, Darcy McGee's hand, is it the actual hand or is it a, a, a fake? So a really great story when Darcy McGee was assassinated down the street on Spark Street. Um, they used to do death masks. So because he was shot in the back of the head, they did a death cast of his hand. So we got the forensic students from Algonquin College Police Criminology uh, Department to um, replicate that hand. So they made a cast of the cast, which is pretty cool. And then we also got another one made recently and sent to Carlingford, where Darcy McGee is from, Thomas Darcy McGee. You know, right in Ireland. That is awesome. Yeah. The last question, best thing on the menu food-wise at uh, Darcy McGee's Sparks? Uh, you know what I'm loving right now is uh, the Guinness steak pie or the salmon and leaf pie are just like, wow, so, yeah, I'm getting crazy. This, so Jeff likes pie. Everybody loves pie. <laughs> and sorry, <laughs> pint and pie. Pint and pie. Fantastic. So it's all good. <laughs> pie in hand. It's my new Twitter this, handle. This was no fun at all. All right. Well, <laughs> cheers. Buddy. Cheers. Thanks, man.